What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming another makeup video and today we are going to talk about the powder before a foundation technique which is really really interesting. <laughs> So you guys know that I am obsessed with TikTok and the past couple of months I've seen this trend or like technique come back on TikTok which is the powder before foundation trend and I'm not gonna lie this technique has been around for many many years a lot of beauty um, YouTubers, makeup artists, and people in the beauty industry have been using this technique for years and it is a really really great technique so I can see why it is making a comeback. This technique is great for making your makeup look super smooth, airbrushed, really matte and kind of like really really glam, just like really smooth, you know? <laughs> So I've been seeing a lot of these TikTok videos and I've been, you know, kind of doing some research and what I noticed is that the way people are telling you on TikTok to do this technique, they're kind of, I don't want to say wrong because I've heard mixed, like, opinions of people, like, about this. Like, for some people it works, for some people it doesn't. Okay, so what people are telling you to do is you first do your skincare and your moisturizer, you then do a light layer of translucent powder then you put on your primer and then setting spray and your foundation and i mean when you kind of think about it it actually does make sense that it doesn't really work for some people because if i hear this like order that people are doing it in it kind of makes me cringe <laughs> not gonna lie um, but now I can see that it doesn't, like, why it doesn't work for some people, especially for the people that have dry ass skin, which is also me sometimes because in the winter my skin can be freaking crusty as F. So the way that I actually learned this technique from YouTube is that you first do all of your skincare, including your moisturizer, then you put on your primer then afterwards you put on a really really light layer of translucent powder and then do your setting spray and your foundation and I mean if I think about it it does make sense because the primer that you put on in between your skincare and the powder is kind of creating a barrier kind of like a shield so it doesn't you know mix up like the powder doesn't mix up with your skincare, if that makes sense. So especially if you have dry skin and you put your powder over your skincare, it's not, I mean, like you just have to have a barrier like in between. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. And I'm going to do my makeup like that. And I'm going to show you guys um, what my face and like what my makeup looks like when I do it the right way. I mean, I'm just saying it like this because a lot of people get offended these days and, you know, just wanna make sure. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And if you guys wanna see the tutorial or whatever or see how I do that, then please keep on watching. And I literally cannot wait to see the end result because I've been doing this trick for some years. I don't use it a lot because you guys know that I'm more kind of like a natural glam or like natural makeup person. So this trick is perfect for when you want to do a little bit more of a full glam in my opinion because it just makes your skin, you know, like, I don't know, it just is a little bit more, like it's a lot. <laughs> Okay, so now it is time to put on some makeup and as I said in the intro, I did already do my skincare. So you have to do your skincare first, including moisturizer if you guys are interested in the moisturizer that I use. I use the Beauty Bay Light Moisturizer. I also used some eye cream and I use the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I really love that eye cream because it really sinks into the skin super fast. So now I'm going to show you guys all the makeup products that I'm going to use. So the primer I'm going to use is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primer and the reason that I love this is because it also corrects the redness in your skin and I do have some redness around my nose so I always like to cover that up. So this is one of my favorite primers for sure. And then for the foundation i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way foundation in the color golden beige this is one of my go-to foundations if i'm doing kind of like a little bit more of a 
um, full glam makeup look because this pow this powder, this foundation is kind of like medium to full coverage. But yeah, I really, really love this one. And then for the powder, I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. And the reason that I love this so much is because this powder is really, really fine and light. Um, especially for the people with dry skin, there's actually different textures in powders. So if you guys have played around with um, like multiple powders, you might have noticed that some powders are more fine and kind of like more sheer or just like thinner. And some powders are a little bit more thick and just, you know, you know what I mean? So if I compare this powder, which is the Peach Perfect, to another powder, like another one of my favorites, this is the Huda Beauty banana bread powder um this one is more fine this one is definitely more of a thicker consistency so if you have dry skin i suggest using a powder that is more fine and just like really really light and smooth i'm just gonna apply some primer the makeup forever step one and i mostly focus this on my t-zone area where i have my most most of my redness Now for the fun part, I'm gonna use my setting powder and I use a tiny tiny bit. I use a bigger brush like this and just get a tiny bit, oh my god, I just get a tiny bit of setting powder. Just like don't overdo it, you know, so I'm just gonna do a light layer of setting powder. You don't want to be baking your face because then your face is going to be really freaking dry and it's not gonna look good in most cases. <laughs> Okay, so the powder is on. As you guys can see, it already looks super, super smooth and just kind of, you know, like, smooth. <laughs> then I'm going to do some setting spray. I forgot to tell you guys which one I'm using. I'm just using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with aloe, aloe herbs and rose water. So I'm just going to do a light spritz of that and let that sink into the skin. So I have one pump of foundation on the back of my hand and I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, the pink one. And I'm just gonna apply my foundation. As you guys see this score right here, I wanna cover that up so bad. So this is gonna be super satisfying. <laughs> I use a beauty sponge because I just feel like it gives off the best result. Um, you can use a brush if you want to, just make sure you're not dragging on your face too much so you move around the powder so make sure to you know dab in your foundation and not drag it across your face because i do that sometimes and you guys call me out on it <laughs> which is a good thing and as i'm applying it you guys can already see how smooth that looks that looks so good it just looks super super airbrushed I just finished applying the foundation and as you guys can see my skin looks smooth AF it looks so freaking nice so now I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna show you guys the final look but yeah look at my skin it's really really pretty I haven't worn foundation in literally the longest time ever um the last time that I used this foundation was I think I don't know three months ago maybe so yeah but it looks amazing and i forgot how freaking flawless my face looks when you do this the powder before foundation okay guys so i just finished doing the rest of my makeup and what do you guys think because i think it looks amazing like my skin looks amazing i try to cover up this bad boy as much as possible but it's still you know peeking through um, but I am obsessed. Like, I love this. Not gonna lie, it is very, very, like, full coverage and, like, really glam. Um, yeah, that is what I was going for today. But as I said, like, for someone who doesn't really use foundation on an everyday basis, I never really use this trick. So it is definitely kind of, you know, I have to get used to this. Um, but yeah, I love how this looks. So I decided to stick with the matte theme and go for a matte lippy. So I'm wearing... Um, hold on this lip pencil from a Primark actually in the color 
wait what is this shade in the color toffee and then i just put a little bit of mac whirl and if you guys are interested in the eye details i have a full video on that already i just did my cat eye makeup look so if you guys are interested in if you guys are interested in that i will leave a link in the description down below so you can watch that after this video okay guys so this was it for the finished look and also for the video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and i will see you guys back in my next one, I cannot get over how freaking good my makeup looks today. I'm just in love with it. So cute. Bye.